Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started off Mo's testimonies. And he's just been real annoying, other than his incredibly loud personality. He's also had some really unfun gameplay segments where during his first testimony, we couldn't press anything, but we had to press some things to go about stuff. It's, it's a whole thing. Go back and check out the previous episode if you haven't. In this episode, I believe... We're in episode 30 now, which is insane because the first LP was 39 episodes long. So this LP is definitely going to be a good bit longer than that one. It might even be my longest LP to date. Anyways, uh, last time we did a bunch of pressing, this time we're going to go ahead and go to this statement where he says Silk Hat, Black Cloak, they were all there, and we want to present... Where is it? This poster. Because remember, he doesn't have two symbols, the hat and the cloak. He also has the white roses that are a major part of his look. Objection! You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols. I suppose so. The silk hat and the cloak, right? Mo. Everyone knows that Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yay! Everyone, get ready! All together, now! Silk hat, cloak, white roses. What the? Who cares if he knows that there was three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Isn't that right, Mo? Do you like pie? I love pie! 3 Silence, fool. You're about to respond with the whole truth. No fractions. Actually, that was decimals, but I guess decimals and fractions kind of go hand in hand. Order, order. Mo, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there wasn't any roses on the person I saw. The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. The witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way he could have missed them. Since the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of the case? Clearly not. He's just toying with his court. I got her on the ropes now. Wherever there's a nugget of truth, it always seems to peek out at me, then run away. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me! Your Honor, do you recall Trillo's testimony? There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Trillo saw them all. Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, the witness claims there was no white roses on the person he saw. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Hmm, now what am I supposed to think? One is supposed to disregard the pointless, but this... Judge, forget the roses. Think about his other testimony. The witness has stated for such a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this, up, this case up now. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but there should still be doubt lingering in your mind. Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that, unlike wine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not... mature. I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. Which means that for my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. V what? If there are no contradictions in his next statement, I am prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance. There's no doubt in my mind, there were no white roses that night. However, all the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that. Especially the silk hat. 
There was no way I could forget seeing the decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time he was down on the scene of the crime. Mr. Wright, you've got one last chance at this. Just one chance. I will not allow even the slightest hint of badgering against this witness. If you are going to prove to me there's a contradiction with Mr. Curls' statement, you'd better have at least a shred of evidence to back up your accusation. Only got a single shot at this. Gotta be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. So again, we got a uh, testimony that we cannot press on, uh, but this one's a bit easier because you can present stuff on it. So we want to go ahead and go over to the statement where he says, He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. However, that's a bit weird, isn't it? I mean, if we look at the silk hat, it was found at the crime scene. So, if he had it on the entire time, even when he left the scene, how is it still there? Objection! This wouldn't happen to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yup, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind? Exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? I see. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Wright? Miss Von Karma, where exactly was this silk hat found? Must you always ask these questions? It was found at the crime scene. The, the, the crime scene? That means... The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. No, that's not true! Order! 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 Mr. Curls! Y yes, y yes, your honor? What is the meaning of all this? You are old enough to know better than to behave like this in court. Hey, that's just not right. That's so harsh. What's not right here is your eyesight and your memory, amongst other things. Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go in and insult my eyesight or my memory. They're both great. Seriously, why? Just because you... You had said... But I know... Hold on, I gotta be over there. Why? Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Curls. Who do you think you are? I saw him, I swear, I saw him. It was Max. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. He's turned into a bratty little kid. It's pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. He was there. He... left the scene? What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo. What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, um, he went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. This witness's testimony is so full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. Ugh. You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. That's all right with you, little guy. Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how to leave the scene of the crime? The answer's obvious. He just turned around and walked away. And that's what I expected you'd say. You sure that's how it happened? Who? <laughs> well, huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. The lawyers nowadays sure do love to hop on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter his story as to how the criminal left the scene? Well, we have the crime photo, which, as mentioned previously, only has one set of prints. But it, there's you need two people, at least, to have a murder happen. So you'd need at least two sets of prints. Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints in the snow. Footprints? In this photo, we can clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? 
They aren't there. Ay, 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 ay. So, Mao, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, hey, uh... Your Honor, this witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I move to strike all of this witness's testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as brickety as the clown car he came to court in. Wait just a second! You guys can't ignore everything I've just said. Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time. You wait a second! I think you've said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyway. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are going to get worse before they get better. Mr. Lawrence Curls. Yes? The testimony you've provided up until now has been false? It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. It's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Carwin or Whip told me not to talk about what I really saw. Order! Order! I will have order! Francisco Von Karma, how could you? Your Honor, if you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. <laughs> That's enough out of That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you what you saw before we get into this. I just want to say it's very rare that we get to see the judge genuinely pissed off. And it's great kind of just like completely dismissive of Von Karma, just yelling at Mo. It's absolutely great. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say you saw. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, but it's true, I tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. Oh god, another testimony. Now it's time for our next segment, Mo Knows. Everything that I've said up until now has been the truth. When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above him. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's when I saw... Hey! This is the truth now. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped up and flew through the air. He flew right off and disappeared into the darkness. That's why there were no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Well, that was... Um... How do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician, but to leave the scene of the crime by flying, there's no way that actually happened. You... You're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why won't you believe me, especially since it's been the best part of the story? Hmm... To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony, Mr. Wright? This is all a dream, right? Right now, I can't believe any of this. Not even sure if this day hasn't been some kind of Kafka-esque dream. Ow! Now, do you think it's still a dream? Huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regarding this matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually happen. You imbecile! If you disregard a need for proof, Miss Von Karma's case is sound. However, I've got the feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Thus, I will conclude today's proceedings at this point. It is an undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. 
Tomorrow, I want to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Um, uh, yeah. I believe that's enough for today. Court is now in recess. Oh, at least that's over. We're about halfway through the case now, so... Sweet. At least I think so. Hey, sweeties, what in the world is going on? That's what I want to know. They say the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking this, but... You didn't fly that night, did you? I know you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please. It's not that easy. But it looks so effortless for you on stage. It's not that simple. I'm, a I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have them hoist me through the air. Wow. You just told me the secret to your magic. No! I broke the first rule. The cardinal rule. The only rule. I'm sorry, Max. Sorry you had to break a magician's creed to keep the magic trick secret. Nick, what do we do now? All we can do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea! Let's do our best and catch this sucker.